up, y'all? It's your boy Josh, and I know I'm late on this, but San Diego Comic Con ended Sunday, and the Marvel Hall Age panel was on Saturday. Now, that Hall Age panel, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I finally saw it today. Didn't see it that day, sadly, but I saw it today, and I gotta say, it was wow. Really, it, there was a lot of energy, a lot of high energy, a lot of people who were just happy to be there, a lot of excitement in the crowd, and it seemed like it would have been fun to be in there, but it would have been a lot of people that smelled like <coughs> KFC, Cheeto sandwich, panties. <coughs> but I digress, it looked like it would have been fun to be in there. But uh, that's not what I'm here to talk about, I'm here to talk about Phase 4. What are my thoughts on Phase 4? And honestly, I like it. I'm interested to see what goes down in Phase 4, and I know a lot of people are checking out People are not a fan of Phase 4, they, uh, they're they done with Marvel, they're boycott. They're doing all this crazy stuff, and it's just me personally, I'm not done with Marvel, I can't, I can't be done with Marvel, I'm wearing a freaking Iron Man t-shirt right now, RIP, love you 3000, but, you know, I'm not done, like, I'm, I, I can't just check out like that, I don't know how, it's so easy, like, even though The Last Jedi is trash, I can never, like, fully check out of Star Wars, like, I can never fully check out of a franchise that made my childhood, or no matter how trash the movies are, or, or, or what the freaking trash employees do, I can never fully check out of a franchise that I love. I can, however, check out of the trash movies that they might produce or make, but until they show me that they're going in a direction I don't like, I just don't think that I could fully, or ever, just fully check out of a franchise that I grew up with and love. But let's talk about all the movies that were are coming in Phase Four. Now, Phase Four will be the shortest phase ever, and I think I think that's what I heard is the shortest phase ever because it only lasts two years, 2020 and 2021, which is pretty short because Phase Four lasted uh, to 2016 to 2019, so it lasted a while. I think Phase th Phase Three is the longest phase ever, but don't don't quote me on that. I, I could be wrong. I think Phase Three Three is the longest phase, but I digress. First film, May May th May third, twenty twenty will be my girl Black Widow's movie. Um, my thoughts on this is um I'm interested. I'm really interested. My boy David Harper finna pull up in that thing, and I'm excited to see he's playing a guy called Alexi. <coughs> Stranger things. Um, but I'm really excited to see what my boy David Harper brings to the table. Um, I hear he's gonna play a guy called the Red Guardian, so I'm excited to see what happens there. Yes, I know. Black Widow's dead, it's too late, you know, they should have done this early. I completely agree, this movie should have been done earlier, but hey, better late than never. Because I'm excited to see this Russian spot espionage type deal, and I'm excited to see my boy Taskmaster pull up on that thing too. So I'm excited to see what goes down there. Black Widow will be taking place between Civil War and Infinity War, and I'll just take place all over the place in different time periods. So I'm excited to see what happens. Next up... I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to envision it in my head. November 6th, 2020 will be The Eternals. Now, I don't know too much about The Eternals, but the cast seems pretty cool. It seems like they have a good dichotomy and chemistry going on there. So that's what you need in this film when you're a team of immortal aliens sent by Celestials to protect Earth. I'm interested to see what goes down in this thing. Um, Jack Kirby made the Eternals, I think, along with Stanley. I, I think it's just Jack Kirby, though. But I'm just, ex I'm interested to see what goes on and how they tackle this story. I've never read the comics, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm interested. I'm really down for this one. Then in Fall 2020, The Falcon and Winter Soldier. I I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm really excited to see this one because I heard that uh, Baron Zemo is going to be in this thing. He's going to be wearing his uh, purple mask, like, from the comics. And I, to be honest, I feel like Baron Zemo, who, his name is Baron Zemo, or, his, or just Zemo, is underrated as a villain. I feel like he was a really good villain in Civil War. I know a couple people hate that movie, but I really love Civil War, and I really loved Zemo. I feel like he was a really good villain. I'm excited to see him pull up back in Falcon and Winter Soldier. And I love the Falcon and Winter Soldier, so two of my favorite characters in a TV show, what could go wrong? Then we got, in the beginning of 2021, February, February 12, 2021, we got Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This movie, I'm, hmm, I like, um, I'm excited to see what happens. The Ten Rings, I want to know more about. We're finally going to see the real Mandarin, um, and I'm excited to see what they do with him. I do agree, though, it is a shame that we will never get to see Iron Man face off against the real Mandarin. 
But you know what? I'm down. I'm excited to see what they do. This is a stab at Netflix's Iron Fist, which I'm completely down for. So that's coming out then. Uh, from spring 2021. We both have WandaVision, which is the worst title I have ever heard. It's, I hate that title. It's weird. It's just, ugh, I hate it. <laughs> but I think the logo is pretty cool and dope. And I like how in the uh, during the San Diego Comic-Con panel playing like this retro like 60s music. And the uh, logo does remind me of something like straight out the 60s or whatever. So I thought that was a little nice thing. Um, I don't know why Vision is back. Um, do I want WandaVision? Um, I, I'm interested to see what goes down. Do I want it? Um, not really. Not really, to be honest. But I'll see what's going on there. And it leads into the next move that I'll be talking about. But also what comes out in spring 2021 is Loki. Now, not excited for this. I'm not the biggest Loki fan. I like Loki, but I, I don't want a TV show. I mean, like, I'll check it out, I guess. But I'm not like, oh, my God, Loki, Loki, Loki. I'm I'm, I'm cool. Y'all could delay this, and I'll be like, cool, whatever. Delay it till phase six, and I'll be fine. But um, I also don't like the logo. I think the logo is just the ugliest thing I've ever seen. The letters are all over the freaking place. I really don't like the logo, and I'm not too excited now. And May 7th of 2021, Doctor Strange in the madness, the multiverse of madness. This is my most anticipated movie of phase four. I love what it sounds like. I love the title. I love it. I just love everything about it. Um, it would have horror elements in it. It will have, you know, uh, Nightmare's confirmed to be the villain, which is great. I, I, I remember my first experience with Nightmare was in the ultimate uh, Spider-Man TV show. And I was like, if they were to ever take this guy into live action and do him right, right. Because I know they ain't do him right in that Ultimate Spider-Man trash. That, the TV show is trash. But regardless, um, I, if they do him right in this, and apparently this is a horror, you know, this, this is a horror Doctor Strange movie. So when they bring the horror elements and gothic uh, elements, also there's going to be like psychedelic weirdness. I'm really freaking excited for that. And also my girl Scarlet Witch is going to be pulling up in this thing too. So I'm excited to see what she does in it. And I'm also excited to see, you know, um, how WandaVision plays into Doctor Strange. Oh, WandaVision. <laughs> uh, side note, I was in, uh, I was talking to my friends about it. We were reacting to it live and, uh, in Discord. And one of my friends was like, what the freak is WandaVision? Like, and he was playing out a scenario where he was asking some other dude, hey, yo, what you watching? And the guy's like, WandaVision. And I <laughs> just like. The other guy was like, WandaVision. I'm just like, what the freak? I'm not doing the joke justice, but it was really funny. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how that plays out. I'm excited to see Scarlet Witch and uh, Doctor Strange do their thing together. I do hope Wong has more of a presence. Um, I really do. But I feel like Scarlet Witch is going to take more of a, a, a place into it. But Wong will be in it. Don't worry about it. Then next we have, in fall 2021, we have... Hawkeye, the TV series, will introduce Kate Bishop. And I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know about Kate Bishop. I really want more of Hawkeye. I feel like after, I, apparently, we should, this is, like I said, this is my number one complaint with Endgame. We didn't see much of Ronan, but apparently we're gonna, in Hawkeye, we're gonna see more of his time as Ronan. So I'm excited. I hope Kate Bishop is a code name for his daughter, and that's just so natural. Like, why do you have to introduce another freaking character called Kate Bishop into the game when you, we saw in Endgame he was training his daughter before she snapped to be, you know, Hawkeye? So you could just train with her to be like this character. So I don't, there's no need to introduce another character. But she, the daughter is kind of young, so I could kind of see how they would do that. But. Now, I'm excited to see what goes down in here. Then, in November 2021, we have Thor Love and Thunder. This is a disgusting title, by the way. Like, I don't like this title. It's really trash. Um, there's been a lot of controversy surrounding this film because Valkyrie has been confirmed as bi, I guess. But, like, she's all, like, back in Thor Ragnarok, that's how she was supposed to be. But they, like, cut it out and stuff, which is weird. Now there's, like, this been a pushback i guess there has been more put pu pu such pushback on valkyrie but there has been pushback on this announcement i'm gonna go way deeper into this in a solo video but i'll just let y'all know that natalie portman will be 
female Thor from Jason Aaron's run, and I'm not excited about this. And like I said, I'm about to make a separate solo video on, on as to why. Hopefully, you, hopefully you guys stick around to see that. But yeah, um, not too excited for Thor: Love and Thunder, but that's about it. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Phase Four as a whole. I'm interested to see what goes down in Phase Four. Um, I'm not. I'm, I don't hate it as much as others say. Uh, say they do. I can understand why people say it's meh. I can completely understand because there wasn't as much surprises. Oh, before I click off, let me tell you about this. My boy Mahershala Ali will be Blade. I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for that. But I'm not even sure. If it, we're not even sure if it's coming out in Phase Four. So I, I, I don't know what's freaking going on. But yeah, I'm excited for that. But that's all that happened at the Phase Four panel at Comic Con. So yeah, what do you guys think? Are you with me? Do you feel kind of iffy about the MCU's future? I would love for you to put all your comments, thoughts, and, and everything in the comment section down below so I can have a discussion with y'all and just let's just chat back and forth and have a good old time. So yeah, hope you have a great day. Thank you for checking out this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell. Have a great day and peace out.